Let's discuss capacity and capacity optimization. Let's first go ahead and start with assessing capacity. This provides a view of all my data centers in the environment. I can group them in different ways, but here they are grouped by criticality. I can sort the data centers within the group by time remaining, by most cost savings, and by optimization level. Let's go ahead and select the MSBU data center. In the time remaining frame, I can see there are two clusters, one at a critical level indicating it's running out of capacity, and the other at a normal level indicating it has enough capacity for the foreseeable future. In the optimization recommendations frame, I can see the potential monthly cost savings opportunity of reclaiming VM resources. I also see a view reclaimable VMs link to go ahead and reclaim those resources. I see a view optimization link that will allow me to perform workload optimization across the clusters. These two links are here because most organizations will want to try and reclaim capacity and optimize capacity before considering purchasing new hardware. Moving down to the cluster utilization frame, let's look at the two clusters in my environment. Looking at the east-management cluster with CPU highlighted, I can see my historical CPU utilization as well as my projected utilization. I can alternate between capacity resources to look at memory and disk space as well. CPU is the most constrained resource and hence it displays zero days remaining. IT providers get to choose their business requirements regarding capacity. They choose the threshold for criticality as well as the risk tolerance level. These settings tell virulence operations when the UI should go from green to yellow to red based on their conservative or aggressive risk level for capacity. To summarize, this defines how soon they want to know they are running out of capacity. An important part of this is the recommendations. There are two options provided. The first option is telling us to go ahead and reclaim resources and also provides the amount of resources that can be reclaimed. The second option is telling us to add capacity to the environment. It also tells us how much capacity we need to add to get to 150 days of capacity time remaining based on the current projections.